Good afternoon. In the interim between this and the main UI revamp for the D&D Mini Injector, I've added a couple features that some people have been asking for. One of them is metric mode. Up until now, there was not a metric mode available for measurement, and now there is. Secondly, I've completely redone the distance measuring system. It is no longer based on as the crow flies distances. It is based on travel path. So it will track where your mini has moved, and it will use that to calculate the distances. So you can just move the mini, and it will accept the movements on the grid and translate that into distances. If you mess up and say you go down here when you didn't mean to, just move the mini back to the beginning and it'll reset. It does handle rudimentary following of geometry. So if you do go up, a surface, it will do its best to move the line up onto that surface. And then if you jump down, it'll jump down with you. So it will try its best to follow the surface, although the line will not always show through. For player characters, the line takes the color of highlighting first and coloring second. So for this odd mini, it has white color but green highlighting, so the line is green. This player character mini is colored red, but has no highlighting, so the line is red. And PC minis, regardless of their highlighting or coloring, are always white on their movement line. The same as they are in initiative. Alternate diagonal movement is still taken into account just like before. So with this off, and we drag, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, but with alternate diagonal movement on, it is 5, 15, 20, 30. And that will apply to any diagonals that get used. So there it's racking up quite heavily because all of these are diagonals. If your mini is at a certain height, when it goes over something else, the line will be at that height. So in this case, jumping over a couple minis, it will jump the line to where your mini is. If you do it quickly, it likely will not do that because your mini is not, has not been raised to that level yet. So it will stay on the ground. The measurements now support hex mode. So they will work in either vertical or horizontal hex mode. Show this here, get that recentered on hex, and yes, now it will work through the hexes. For metric movement, I am using the same method as alternate diagonals for this, where it is controlled by the injector, so minis when the injector is present cannot alter that setting. It must be changed on the injector. In this case, it is in the right-click menu. If you turn on metric mode, now all movements will be in meters instead of feet or yards, whichever one. It is 1.5 per hex or 1.5 per square. So there's the one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven and a half. There you go. All right, that is about all I have. I hope this is able to tide people over until I get the uh, UI revamp done. Take care. Have a wonderful day.